Okay, in this video, we're going to show you how to replace um, um, a hard drive, memory, Wi-Fi card, battery. Uh, basically, shows you how to dis uh, disassemble an Asus Q501LA, um, and there'll be similar models that I'll put in the description. This it'll also work with. Um, this is one of the newer models, Asus with Windows 8 on it, um, i5 processor. Yours might have a different processor on it. It's got touch screen on it. And the back will look like this. And it's going to have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 screws. 4, 4, and 2 on the side. Um, and it's a pretty easy disassemble. So let's go ahead and start. I went ahead and removed most of the screws. And fortunately, Asus makes it pretty easy to get into the computer, unlike a lot of the newer HPs and a lot of the newer Dells make it very difficult to get to the memory and to the hard drive to upgrade. Okay, now this actually will not just pop off. So that might be one of the reasons why you're watching this video, because you're having some resistance. Get you a little small fill or a small flathead screwdriver like this. Uh, if you don't have one, you can get like a steak knife, and then a credit card that'll go around the edges will help. But the best thing to do is to start from the very back. All right, and then you want to. There's going to be little clips that clip on all four sides, and you have to be a little bit aggressive with it. You'll hear a little popping. What you want to do is just go down straight down the line. Okay, just keep going down. Starting to get a little bit of leeway here. I've already pre-opened this once, so I won't have as much resistance. But feel safe to know that if you got all ten screws out, you're not like forcing any forcing anything. Uh, you just want to basically make sure you go all the way down down the line, little by little. As we can see here, we opened it up to the logic board, motherboard. Um, pretty clean laptop. Doesn't look like it's been used that much. Um, I bought this one at an estate sale, uh, and it doesn't turn on. So, so you, as you can see here, it's got a gigantic battery. This looks like it's a non-cell battery. Um, and whenever you watch this video, you might need to replace the battery. Best thing to do is to get, pull the model number off the battery. This particular one, the model number, it'll see on the top right, Season Cat 41 N as Nancy 541. And uh, if you want to buy it, you can get it on uh, Amazon or eBay. Just plug it in and then go to Buy It Now Lowe's first. Uh, this particular one's got a SATA hard drive, which is right here. And um, and you can see there, there's a, a gig stick. Now. All these models have an integrated onboard memory of four gigs, so you automatically have four gigs that you can't upgrade. It's already automatically in there, so you've got one slot. But it's okay because you got four gigs integrated. And usually, if you bought this, most likely you'll it'll come with the two, so you probably have six gigs. And I notice on a lot of them they have these little silver tabs on them like that. If you can pull it all, just pull it off, it'll tell you, you know, it's got two gigs here. So what you're going to want to do is upgrade that. You could actually upgrade it. Um, I know you can upgrade to eight. You could try putting an eight gig chip in there and try to go to twelve. I bet you could. 
being that it's an i5 processor. Those are a little bit more expensive. So, we got Yeah, that's a that's an eight gig. You could try that, baby. Um, if for whatever reason you need to uh, do a factory restore, you got a virus or something. If you see in here, I could post a link on. If just let me know. Um, it's very easy to do to to factory restore your Asus if your hard drive's still good. See, this is the four gig, so that's what we'll replace it with. So that means if there's four on board, that means four inserted, that means we got eight in total now. Four and four is eight. Uh, this particular one has got a SATA hard drive, as you can see here. Um, most of them come with a 750 gig hard drive. This one's a 500. And, uh, you know, if for whatever reason you have to replace the hard drive, your hard drive went bad you'll need to of course put a new hard drive in there and reinstall your operating system. This one's got Windows 8. Um, Asus should provide you with a restore disk. Um, I know sometimes you can, you can get the restore disks on uh, online but you can go to um, Microsoft. Well I would say go to Microsoft but you've already paid for your license so I would try to contact Asus first. Uh, Wi-Fi card, that's very simple. For whatever reason your Wi-Fi is not working, you'll just need to replace this little card here. Um, it'll have the model number on there. I would recommend going to eBay, Amazon, or Amazon for that to replace that. There's the CMOS battery fan, um, and that's pretty much it. USB ports here, and I don't. I can't tell if the jack is soldered on or if it's. Uh, basically a, a plug and play. Alright, uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. And uh, thank you for watching.